Okay guys, welcome to another Sergeant Drake video. Uh, today I'm going to be covering the Stiletto, which is a brand new gun from G1. Uh, myself, I've got it for free. You can get a gun for free if you obviously spend a lot of G1 over a period of time or if you've been with the APB lot since like the very beginning. Um, it's basically a, like a loyalty scheme. Uh, anyway, with this video I want to quickly correct myself. I recently uh, done a video on the Skepta and I'm going to correct myself on the basis of saying that it's not actually that accurate over distance compared to its brother, the sword. Um, the sword doesn't have a scope on the top and really the way it's set it should be the close range gun but actually having hunting sight free and uh, improved rifling on it it was better over distance than the Skepta. So someone in the head office obviously got their knickers in a twist and decided to set them out completely different. But enough with that and let's get on with the stiletto. My stiletto I've got the cooling jacket free on it, three point sling and a magazine pull two. It's 24 bullets and it holds 210 bullets total. It's available to both fractions. I've put the uh, Asylum skin on mine so it's nice and red. And we're going to start off with the distance. It's not designed for distance, folks. It sprays everywhere. Um, I'm sure if you changed it to improve rifling, um, you might get a better kind of cluster. But really, it is designed for close range. It's a uh, pinpoint to it. Um, the other thing about this gun is compared to the rifles you can freely move around with it especially when scoped in. It's uh, a lot more agile. It's very powerful obviously as a new gun a lot of people go say it's OP, overpowered. Um, it's hard to say really I think as it's designed as I would prefer to see this as a secondary gun to be honest with you it's more like the Uzi's um, but yeah, that's opinion really. If you're a close, qua uh, close quarters combat kind of person, this is going to suit you down to the ground. Um, really, anything above like 20 meters, it's just it's not a worthwhile gun. You're really having like a secondary as an FBW or be a long distance handgun. Um, but it's it's good fun at the same time if you're in close quarter combat, especially if you're on bailing or asylum. Let's see if I can blow this car up. Uh, I believe it will probably be. It. Three to four clips. Let's have a look. Yep. So I say it's not majorly powerful. It's just because of the very short, the, s the small cluster. Uh, you get a close range if you're just spraying and praying at someone you will easily drill them so there we go folks that's the stiletto um, you can get different versions you've got the uh, PDW 5.7 dagger and you've got the PDW 57 Chris. Chris has a silencer that comes with it. Um, again, that's an option really. Obviously, if you go for the si silencer, you lose uh, one mod slot. Whether it works out, it's down to choice and option. Um, either way, as soon as you start firing, you're going to be noticeable on the radar. So, silencer or not, it doesn't really uh, make a difference. Alright oh, folks, well thanks for watching the video, um, obviously let me know your feedback of what you think of the Stiletto gun, and I will catch you soon, thanks a lot. 